Hello everyone, in this video here I picked up a new screen protector for my 3DS and you know if you're a 3DS owner you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about and that is there is a design flaw with the system that when the top screen is being compressed down to the bottom portion of the system guess what? The frame around the system shows up on the top screen the circle pad shows a little circle on the top screen. That kind of sucks, if you ask me. And I'm sure Nintendo knew about this. If they didn't, I'd be really, really surprised by this. But nonetheless, that's why we have screen protectors. So when we buy the system, we spend an extra couple bucks on screen protectors to uh, cover up their mistakes. Little joke there. So let's uh, take a look at this particular one. This one's from Hori, and you're gonna pretty much know exactly how this looks. You know what? Let me throw these things on this side here. So this is the packaging. It also comes a little plastic bag covering, but uh, this is how it looks. And what makes this one a little different is that they redesigned how you apply the screen protector. You know, back in the day, or I shouldn't say back in the day, even some screen protectors today, you know, whether it's 3DS, PlayStation Portables, or PS Vita, uh, cell phones, any uh, mo mobile device, you basically have a screen protector and two layers. A top layer usually as a protector, that way you get all, all the air bubbles out, you scuff that part off, take that top layer off and then you have the actual screen protector. And you have the bottom portion of the screen protector that protects the adhesive on it and that way dust doesn't attract to it. Well, you just have little pull tabs and then you just rely on those to put it on there yourself. This one on the other hand you're going to notice several uh, yellow tabs on these things. And what these do is that the yellow tabs has a little piece of tape at the end. So you pull the yellow tab off, has a little tape on it, you tape it onto the system itself. That way it stays in place. Then this part right here, the bigger white area that I'm kind of moving with my other finger, uh, where it says number three, you pull that slowly and then you basically hold the screen protector down as you're pulling it and then that's how it applies it. So it's kind of a, a nice cheap near perfect way of applying these things. Same thing with the larger one. This one you have actually have two of them and again you take the yellow tabs off it exposes the tape, you tape it onto the system itself, and then you start pulling the under layer while using the card that came with it to smooth it out. So that's actually a really nice concept, but does this way really make it easier? Well, I'm going to show you. And just as a side note, this is my very first time even attempting this on video that way it's as fair as possible and uh, we'll get to it so first things first uh, clean the system up and uh, get the old one off and uh, put the new one on so basically what you do is you take the top portion take off the yellow tabs so I'm doing here and then you start aligning screen protector and then once you have it the way you want it that looks pretty good you then take it and tape it so now I taped it and it's on there, it's not going to move now. So then, you know, I 
make sure it's on there good before I start. Which it is. So now I start hold hold it in the middle. Then you start pulling it slowly. And this is the idea with it. So now that's on there. I take the top portion. like so and then I just go over it. Now if I need extra help that's what the little card is for. And it's a little weird that it does change the black just slightly but again when you do close it it is going to provide that full protection and obviously this is what I mean. I don't know if you can see the... I don't know if the camera's going to pick up, but you, you are able to see that little circle right there. But if I'm able to clean that off there, it goes right away. So I'm going to do the same with the bottom screen. Now, I already have a screen protect on here, so I'm trying to take this off. And this one's kind of being a pain in the ass, so depending on how easy the bottom one's comes off I'll probably just leave that one on I mainly got this for the top and it's on there now so let me turn on the system and see how the how it looks Okay, there's no, there's no uh, uh, issues when looking at the 3D with the screen protect with this particular screen protector, so that's a good sign. So yeah, I think this is a uh, a really nice uh, screen protector. So I'm gonna turn this off and do the same with the bottom one. Okay, after countless tries, this bottom one does not want to come off. So I'm just going to leave it on there. You know, this this one still is doing its job. I just it just doesn't want to come off. So um, I guess I'll just uh, keep this one lying around in case this one gets really scuffed up. At least I don't have to buy a completely new one. So um, yeah, it's actually a lot more noticeable with this one. But yeah, this is a nice screen protector. You know, it's a, it is a lot easier to put on. I, I do give it that. Um, and it is nice that you're able to line it up before you actually completely secure it. So if you do have a 3DS and you don't want to get like the invisible shield, I was thinking about getting one, but then I read online that people that got it and when they put in their charging cradle, it doesn't really fit correctly. So, I decided to go without it and just get a regular screen protector. So, if you are in the market for a new screen protector or you just picked up a 3DS and you want to get a screen protector to protect it, uh, I do recommend this particular kind from Hori. And it's under 10 bucks. You know, it doesn't really cost that much. 
I got at Fry's for nine bucks. So there you go. So that's it. Like always, have a good one.